This is the Relationship Capital Podcast, where we talk to the top thought leaders and practitioners from around the world about how to grow your most valuable resource, your network. I'm your host, Adrian Chenault, and Relationship Capital is brought to you by your friends at Contact Mapping, the number one app for building your network. Hey everybody, it's Adrian from Contact Mapping and I have two powerhouses here to interview about how to build relationships effectively for your business. So Tina Joy Carroll and Lindsay Trunalone, it's so good to have you here. Thank you guys for coming up. Oh my gosh, we're so excited to I be here. I'm so excited. <laughs> I know, I know. So for those who don't know you, what the heck is on your head, first of all? <laughs> well, I am Thanks. Tina Joy Carroll, also known as hashtag the social mouse. Um, my love for Disney translated into a brand and it has evolved and it is a thing now. When I don't wear the ears, people question. That's yeah. good. That's I I don't know what I need. I need to have some kind of cool. <laughs> you do. You need something. Something. Yeah. yeah. And so and you so you two work together and so Lindsay, you kind of followed suit and you've got a little bit of branding going on as well too. I do. For those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Lindsay Charlon, also known as hashtag the social CEO. Um, super excited um, to just be a part of this great industry. I found Tina on Facebook um, oh, no and I love uh, the content that we're going to be talking about here today because our story is such a testament to how to build relationships yep. the right way. That's awesome. um, so I think it's really awesome that we kind of get to share that aspect of our story. Well, yeah. why don't we start there then? So why don't, from since you found Tina Joy first, why don't you talk a little bit about how that happened and how your your relationship and friendship has evolved from there? Sure. Um, so I was brand new uh, to the network marketing industry, um, had no idea what I was doing on social media, was kind of very much, not kind of, very much a hot mess, <laughs> um, but really uh, trying to be coachable. And I got a friend, and it's so funny how the universe works. Um, I, prior to joining network marketing, I did nothing on my Facebook. I was like super private, yeah. don't come into my life, like please, I don't want to know you, if you're a weirdo or stranger. Um, and she was the very first random friend request that I got. Wow, that is a gift from God. Like insane, oh, yeah. like I joined, I launched, and then with, within 24 hours, she was the first friend request I got. Wow. And I was like, Person. I don't know, what should I, I'm going to be coachable, like I'm going to my network. And um, she just, she didn't pitch me. Yeah. I accepted her friend request. Um, I kind of, to be honest, forgot about it because yeah. I was just trying to build a network. And at the time I was going through, I live in South Florida and um, a hurricane was coming, big hurricane, like yeah. category five. And at the time my son was super young and she messaged me and she was like, hey, I know you're in Florida. I know there's a big storm coming. I just want you to know, like I'm thinking about you. I hope you guys are safe. And I was like, uh, who is this woman? I was like, thank you. <laughs> and I kind of, it was almost like, because yeah. I was so new. Right. Um, I was like, what do I do with this? But she really was being super genuine and just wanted me to know that she was thinking about me. And looking back after two years in the industry now, knowing what I know now, yeah. that's as simple as it gets. Yeah. If you want to build a long lasting relationship, a long lasting business, that's where you start, truly caring about people. Wow, mm -hmm. yeah. wow, that is so cool. And yeah. so I, I'm just curious, did you, when that storm was coming it gets in. gets me a little emotional. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Well, it's so, I mean, what a fateful, I mean, you guys have a major partnership and yeah. friendship yeah. that came from that one tiny action. That's really Yeah, really I mean, I, I tell people all the time she's my greatest recruit, but she's also my best friend. Yeah, <laughs> isn't that wild? There we go. So, <laughs> I gotta keep the tears. Um, well, you grab tissues. Yeah. So. Did you, I, I'm just curious, like, did you, when that storm was coming through, did you, did you send that message to a bunch, like, to, did you no. have a look and find, no, it just. No, it was, I just, she was one of my new friends. I had been sending, at this point in my um, business, I was taught to send X amount of friend requests a day. Yeah. There was no real thing to how I was doing it. I just was sending the friend request and she accepted. And then I seen that she had this little baby and I was like, how scary must that be? I didn't know then what her husband did for a living, mm -hmm. but I thought, my gosh, how scary must that be to have an infant and be going through a major hurricane. Yeah. Um, and so I just said, you know, Hey, I just want you to know I'm praying for you. And I was genu I was genuinely praying for her, mm -hmm. genuinely concerned about the well being of her and her son. And, um, it, you know, then she just, I was doing live. So yeah. this is important. In these. Important in the ears. To know. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And, um, you know, she can tell your husband, like, who is the girl in my house? Oh. You're listening to her. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So um, I just kept putting out content and then kept touching base and putting out content and touching base and putting out content and touching base. And then eventually she reached out and she was like, I'm stuck. Help. Yeah. <laughs> um, and from there, um, a friendship was born. Um, she ended up joining me in business and she, she, hands down, and I say this all the time, she's the most coach, coachable person I've ever worked with. Every single thing I've ever told her to do, she's done. And in turn, um, and again, it gets me a little emotional, but the teacher became the student yeah. because she got really, really good. She is a natural. Woman. Yeah, she's, yeah, she got really good. And so I started to learn things about content and wording and how to structure a post from her. Yeah. Um, and so it just it's just really, really cool what this industry does and, and brings. Mm -hmm. Wow. That yeah. is, that's, I, I, I only knew a tiny fragment yeah. of that story. Yeah. And that is so, so yeah, cool. Yeah, it's powerful. <laughs> so let's kind of take that and, and try to sort of externalize it in terms of how we can share some of some of the learnings from that beyond that one really special story you know thinking about somebody who is coming in you know joining your team that is you know maybe similar to Lindsay has been really private in the past is trying to figure out how to do this the right way and not to be the network marketing weirdo and yeah, all, all yes. the goofball stuff <laughs> that somehow we forget how to be a human being mm -hmm. so what is I'll start with you, Tina Joy. What's what is your number one piece of advice that you would give to somebody who's trying to learn how to use relationships in the right way to grow their business? Be consistent. Mm -hmm. I always say just be rid ridiculously consistent, no matter what it is. And so, just continuing to talk to people and reach out to people on their terms, and not making it about you and what you want from them. Yeah. And it doesn't mean this has to go on and on and on and on forever. Yeah. But just a simple touch, like with Lindsay, it was a simple touch. It was right. a simple. I'm just praying for you and your son. We the conversation didn't really go far past that at all. Yeah. But she knew I genuinely cared mm -hmm. about her situation, and I didn't want anything in return. And so I think that's what people miss. Um, because they're excited right? Mm -hmm. yeah. and they just want to sell something or, or sign up their first recruit and I think just letting people know hey you know I really do care and that's as simple as looking at someone's timeline yeah. I mean social media has made it so easy for us to get to know people yes. to a certain level that we can be more personal in the inbox yeah absolutely yeah. and what about you um, I would say be authentic um, when I st when Tina reached out to me and I started watching her what I realized about her was I knew immediately she had a love for Disney, but I knew that she had a passion for what she was talking about because it was coming from a place of authenticity. Mm -hmm. um, so when you're looking to build relationships on social media, especially on social media where everything is a highlight reel or a catfish, yeah. be your own real self yeah. because ultimately that is what will attract the people yeah. to you that need to be in your life and vice versa, whose life that you need to be in. Yeah. Tell your story. Talk about things that you love. You know, if I had been afraid to talk about the things that were going on in my life who knows if Tina ever would have come into my life and how different would my life be now right. um, so don't be afraid to be weird or be sarcastic or talk about wear mouse ears if that's your thing yep. but you know figure out what that is and share that authentically on social media and you won't have to chase people yep. because they will come to you looking to build a relationship with you yeah yeah and I think we set up, or sometimes you hear people set up this sort of like false choice that you have to make of like, oh, you're just going to be endlessly relationship building and like you're going to fall into that trap versus going and just getting right to the point. And you don't have, like it doesn't have to be an endless relationship building and like when am I going to talk to them about my business or what it like. If you genuinely care and you just, you have these little light touch points, and I think that's important too, is it, it, it doesn't have to be this big long thing. We don't have to catch up on the phone every week with somebody for half an hour like they don't want to talk to you for half an no. hour every week and you don't have <laughs> yeah. time. Yeah. Like, it doesn't have to be that. But those tiny little touch points with consistency and your pipeline of people that might be interested in what you're doing is going to be so full mm -hmm. that you don't have to do any of that BS weird stuff. Yeah. You can actually allow it to happen organically because you're not like counting on this one thing to come through because that's all you've got going on right now. Exactly. That's so cool. Exactly. So you just got to speak in London or in the UK for the first time <laughs> and, and on a huge, huge stage. Talk yeah. about what that was like, for that experience and, you know, kind of why Frazier chose to put you on his stage at Success Summit. You know, it was so interesting. I was actually driving to Disney and I got a friend request from Frazier Brooks and I was like hitting my husband <laughs> while he's driving and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to believe this. Yeah. But 
I'm one of those people, and, I, and Lindsay will tell you, I've taught this from the beginning. You don't wait for opportunities. You be intentional about going to get opportunities. And so immediately I jumped in Fraser's inbox, and I was like, I'm so excited to be your friend. When can we do a doula? Yeah. <laughs> like, just immediately. And so I think he just seen my enthusiasm and, and seen my drive, and then he watched and he paid attention. We were fortunate enough. We um, had Fraser come and do our team retreat. I saw that. That was, was awesome. so Yeah, we took cool. him to Magic Disney's Magic Kingdom with us. And so... Um, he's just watched as I've grown through live video and what that's done. And so he, yeah. he messaged me one day and he said, would you like to teach on live video? And I was like, stop it! <laughs> you know, I was so excited. And I'd never been, out of, I'd never been to Europe, yeah. ever. Yeah. And so not only did I get to experience Europe for the first time, but I, I got to speak on his stage and it was just absolutely phenomenal. That's and great. go to Disney. I was going to do my question. Yes, yes, Disney, yes. Ah, yes. Good. yes. yes. <laughs> of course I went there, yes. Nice. And wow, let's get the review. How? What do we think of your Well, review? I will tell you I'm <laughs> a fan of Walt Disney World Florida. Okay. How about All I just right. leave it at that? Right. Fair <laughs> fair I do not run anyone else. I think that's, a, I think that's probably yeah. a consensus viewpoint. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, you you two are incredible on Facebook Lives, and so I'd love to hear some thoughts from you on how you have grown into that and, and what makes a great Facebook Live from each of you. So maybe you want to go sure. first, Lindsay? Um, don't be afraid to mess up because you will. Yeah. Um, you will stumble, and you will. You're if you are like me and you didn't have money for fancy awesome. camera setups and lighting, and but somebody told me this girl told me, yeah. um, just keep doing them mm -hmm. because eventually your audience will learn to love you. Yeah. They will get to know you. Your business will grow. Yeah. So I sat in front of my sliding glass door cause that was the only good lighting that I had. Yeah. I stacked my phone on books yeah. and I pushed that live button and it was sweaty and painful for a while yeah. until it started to get better. Yeah. And the more I did them, the more people started to say, this girl is serious. Yeah. And if you just keep showing up, yes. especially through live video yeah. and you're t what you're telling people is, I'm serious about my business. Yeah. I'm treating this like a business. I'm using this as a tool and I want to get to know you so I can help you. Yeah. Um, and that, I mean, alone, like you don't have to have a huge script and you don't have to have great lighting. Don't wait for the perfect content. Just push the button yeah. um, and be your own authentic self and start to connect with people that way and your business will explode. It's it will. Cool. That's so awesome. <laughs> One other thing that I just want to ask you about, because sure. you in particular, you have like just the most remarkable camera engagement. Like the first five <laughs> seconds of Lindsay's lives, and I want you to like, because I, I still I like I, you should just walk, go click on Lindsay's profile <laughs> and yeah. just like scroll through, watch the whole thing, but like scroll through ten and just watch the first five ten seconds of her lives, because somehow it's like I need to watch this. Like I don't, <laughs> and I don't even know why, but you do something. So if you know what the magic is, then tell us. <laughs> Uh, you guys, it's all about energy. Um, I'm all about bringing a high vibe energy because through camera, yeah. I don't get to touch you. Right. I, I don't even know if you're actually watching. And right. I know that there are people watching who have never engaged in anything. So it's my job to show up at the highest level of vibration, the highest energy that I can bring yeah. because that's going to engage you. Yeah. And I don't engage you in those first three seconds, you're going to keep scrolling. Yeah. Um, so for me, it's about, I genuinely have gotten to a point now, and you guys, this takes time. Yep. It takes so much time. So don't feel like it's going to happen on the first live. Um, I now get excited to go live. Yeah. So if I'm in like feeling kind of low or, you know, I'm just like things are going wrong or, you know, I'll be like, what can I train on? What can I dive into my hundred notebooks about yeah. and train somebody on because it now genuinely lights me up. Yeah. So in the beginning, I taught about things that I got excited about and I was just regurgitating content. Yeah. Now that energy, that vibe has transitioned into I'm so excited to teach someone something that I learned about once because it tr it revolutionized my business. Yeah. And giving people that inspiration and that energy, it's it's my job yeah. to bring that heat to you yeah. because that's going to light you up and yeah. that's what I want to do. That's really cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. And what about you? Well, and I think one thing that, that needs to be said is that during those first few months when Lindsay was doing those lives, she... There was a period of about three months where she was struggling to re just a core rank. It wasn't even a big rank. Mm -hmm. And she kept missing it by hardly nothing. Right. Most people would have quit. And she didn't. She kept going live. She kept putting it out there. And then what happened after those three months of her consistently not hitting that small, small rank, yep. 
her business grew about eight times and she had a huge rank. Wow. Because she continued to go live. She continued to put herself out there. And so that's just the power of what I said earlier is being consistent in your business and the mm-hmm. small things, even when you feel like that they aren't working. Because there was one point she could message me and she's like, Okay, I need that talk. <laughs> like I'm a little bit you know taken back right now. And we just I just said, keep going. Yeah. Keep going. It's going to work. And it did. And you know, and I think even with my own journey in live video it was the same thing. Yes. We all have a tipping point. Yep. For the longest time it was just my husband. He was on there, he was like, You're awesome. And he was liking and he was sharing to his page and that was it. <laughs> no one else was tuning yeah. in. But here's what I understood, and I think most people miss this, is that how many people have you seen come and go in the industry? Yes. So many. A ton. Yep. So I understood I just needed to outlast those people. Mm-hmm. Right. That's it. So my first goal was outlast those people. Yep. Then once I got past that, I was like, okay, now it's working. Yep. It was picking up. People were starting to to listen and to tune in. And then I read a book uh, called Tribes by Seth Godin. Yep. And that there was a part in that book that talked about how you didn't need a million fans. You just needed a thousand super fans. Yes. Well, that number was realistic to me. Yeah. I was like, I can go get a thousand super fans. Right. And that's what I did. That's what I set out to do. I wasn't trying to be someone that was going to go viral and wait for my viral moment. Right. I just needed to connect to a thousand people. Yes. And it changed my life. Mm-hmm. That is so, so cool. Well, thank you guys both so much. I want to give you one last, one last opportunity, just any kind of parting thoughts that you want to share in terms of really helping people to grow in their business, whether in, you can take it in any direction you want, whether it's relationships, whether it's social media, whatever it is, but I just want to give you one last chance to throw something out there. Okay. Um, I guess my biggest tip would be continually work on yourself. Um, even top leaders, even multiple seven and eight figure earners have bad days. Um, and just because you are, have reached a certain rank or maybe you think that you know it all or you've overcome these hurdles doesn't mean that there's still more to learn. So whether you're brand new in the industry um, and you're just trying to figure out like how to work your back office or you're a, a multiple seven-figure earner and you're trying to figure out how to help that new person on your team, just keep working on yourself. Be ridiculously consistent about growing yourself because your level of growth will dictate the growth of your paycheck. Yeah, no doubt. And you know, and I would say that bigger than the check is the relationships, mm-hmm. um, the the friendships that I've made. To, to, I, I found my people. Um, that's what I, I was. I was privileged to get to speak on my company stage this last October, and that's what I spoke on. Yeah. I, I got in this industry and found my people. Mm-hmm. This is where I fit in. This is where I found the people that I've connected to more than I've connected to people in my entire life. Mm-hmm. The relationships alone have changed me more than the money has changed yes. anything about my life. And so just know that. Know that. Don't be afraid to to reach out to the Tom Chenaults and say, <laughs> hey, I want to go have coffee with you. Or, or, you know, and just don't be afraid to insert yourself and put yourself in situations to level up your relationships so that you can become better and and you can be the person that one day somebody, like Lindsay, will join. Yes! That is so cool. <laughs> well, thank you both so much. This was a really fun conversation. I learned a lot and really fun to have both of you guys together. So thank awesome. you. Awesome. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely.